Okay, people, I'm back for Foundation Fridays, okay? And I am going off the grid here. What I'm going to do is I had a um, bunch of foundations, okay? And I recorded it that I was going to donate. And I just said, before I just do that, let me just make sure, okay? And I can also use the foundation to uh, do a uh, Foundation Fridays, okay, and see how it works out. And this is what I got at the dollar store, okay, is the Revlon Nearly Naked. Okay, now I have uh, like three different colors, and this one seems to come out the closest, okay. It may be a little too dark, we're going to find out. We're going to make it work. And this is in the color Nutmeg 230, Revlon Nearly Naked. Okay, and um, I've already put on my eye makeup, which is already messing up because my uh, eyes are watering. So I'll go in there and touch it up later on. Okay, but we're going to do the foundation. Now, um, I've already moisturized, okay, and I decided I'm going to go in with the primer. Okay, I mean, you know. Hopefully, it'll last, okay, as long. Let me look and see what I'm doing. Okay. It'll last, okay, hopefully through the whole shift, because I really am not a blotting person running in the bathroom. I'm always checking my makeup, though. Ooh. I think I smeared some, um, that ink on my, um, face. But anyway. And this is the Becca primer, if I didn't mention it already. Yeah, the Becca primer. I need to get some more. Instead of running and getting that foundation, I need to go get some more primer. Still practicing at my cut crease, okay? So here we go. Shake it up some more. And I'm going to use... This off-brand flat, flat top brush, okay, see if it's got any hair lint on it, okay, and we're going to go in, we're going to go in gently, okay, because like I said, it, it looks like it may be too dark, yeah, okay, so this is what it looks like, so we're just going to Dab it on. We're going to do one side first. Okay. Hmm. Not too bad, not too bad. It looks like it has some um, pink undertones. You, you can't really see it too good on camera. Okay, so let's add some more under my eyes because I put some color correcting under there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. This stuff just dried up and it looked like it's just stuck. Okay, let me try. Uh, ooh, chow. I don't know if you can see that. Dries quickly. But, um, oh, we're going to have to work that out. Uh uh.
Okay. Another challenge here, folks. Let me get in close and see if you can see that. Okay. Right in here, just like it just dried and it's not going anywhere. I swear. Even right here, just looks. Can you see that cast? Okay, let's keep going. Okay. It's kind of like, now I knew why I threw that stuff in the bin. But it does dry quickly. So let's uh, try to hurry along here. Doesn't seem to look so bad, but I don't know. Anyway. Let me shut up and get to moving. Because this stuff ain't no joke. Well, see, when I do these, uh, when I do these um, videos, these makeup videos, okay, I'm doing them on, <laughs> on my way to work, okay, so I don't have time to, you know, to be sitting up here washing my whole face and doing it again, say. So, I'm going to have to do something. But this is, this dries really fast. It dries really matte. Kind of reminds you of the old school makeup with that pink undertone. So, we're going to have to go in there. Yeah. We're going to have to go in here with some cream, okay? And, um try and clean this up. I don't know if I can make this work, folks. I hope so. Because I got to go to work. Ooh. There's another wasted on my dresser. Hmm. We'll put that excess on the chin and hurry up and blend it out before it just dries like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a dry patch there. See that? We gonna work it out, watch. <laughs> we gonna have to work it out. Okay, let's back up so we can get the full picture of what's about to happen. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna spray my towel here. It's a, um, it's a hand wipe towel, but I'm gonna spray it with water because there's nothing wrong with it and wet it back up so I can wipe my hands. There we go. Yeah, put some life back into it. Hmm. Yeah, I can see now uh, it has a pink uh, cast to it. And I, I guess dry patches, oh yeah, where I put that um, Becca. So yeah, anyway, we're going to get some, uh, some sticks around here as soon as I find the contour, uh, the foundation sticks, okay? Matter of fact, um, let's go in with some Anastasia, okay? And see if we can do some highlight slash contour, okay? In addition. Oh, that's not dark enough. Okay. 
back to <laughs> Black Radiance. There we go. Now I'm not going too heavy with this uh, darker color. Oops. There we go. Then I'm going to go in. I don't have a lighter color in these sticks, okay? So I'm going to go in with the tan on the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go in in the... Um, around the eye look on the forehead down the nose go in this chin area we'll see how this works out <laughs> I don't know folks because we got three different colors going on here okay and I am going to go in with another brush okay Now we're going to go in for the contour. Now I always blend the um, contour up into the um, highlighted portions. It just seems to... Uh, Work out whatever's on the brush, I bring it up into there, you know, to uh, try to give it that seamless effect there. Now, this right here is a whole nother talk show. It's coming together, though, it's coming together. Coming together, folks. Mm -hmm. But I'll be putting this back in the bin, okay? Uh, I, but that's for sure, because that pink undertone is just not me. Other than that, we cool, we cool. See how that just comes together? My under eyes don't look so, well, they're not supposed to look so bright. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with this, we're going to set it with the banana powder. We're going to set the whole thing. Okay. Make sure I'm recording. Okay. I know my videos be long on this like this, but that's because, you know, I want you to see the whole thing. If I keep just taking and cutting pieces out and stuff like that, you know, more than likely I'm going to cut a good piece out. You know, you're like, well, wait a minute. She put, what is that she putting on? So, for those of you, and we're going to sweep it across, of course, with my sweeping brush, okay, which is a finishing brush by uh, for Finishing Kabuki. It's a sheer finish Kabuki brush. That's what it says. Okay.
believe me, folks, I am not a professional. I am not a makeup artist, okay? I'm not even a guru, okay? I'm just winging it, okay? When you see these videos and you see stuff like this, I'm winging it, okay? I don't know, just like you, I don't know how this is going to come together, okay? I also feel like it makes me look dried, okay? See if we can fix that, too. Let's go in. So it's not that bad, okay? No, it's not that bad at all. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with my favorite, okay? Especially, see, when I, when I get stuff like that that just don't work out like that, okay? And this right here is the Naked, okay? The Nearly Naked, okay, which has pink undertones in the color Nutmeg. Okay, just to put that out there. And I'm going to go in with my um, Iman. And this right here is a um, sunlit copper. It's a blush, but it, it reminds me of a bronzer. Okay, but I like it because it really gives me... A nice natural finish, or I think... I think it's a natural finish, okay? See? Told you. Nice natural finish. Okay. Then, I'm bringing a special, a special friend on board, okay? You know that, uh, um, uh, Scarface, okay. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> okay, this right here is one of the Makeup Revolution um, highlighters that I got from um, Ulta when I took back that foundation. And this one is in um, Strobe Highlighter, uh, the, strobe, the Strobe Highlighter Collection. And this is in the color Gold Attic, okay. Woo wee, ain't she pretty? Okay. Now I also bought another one, and this one is in the color Moon Glow Lights. Oh, let me show you the name of it. Moon Glow Lights. Okay. And this is like a pinkish lavender color. Real pretty. Okay, and I use that on the highlights, okay? Now, when I was reading it, okay, they said that you can use these wet or dry. And you can, because I just did it. And that is what I'm using for my highlight, okay? It's the Moon Glow Lights. And I actually put this on right here, is this, okay, for an eyeshadow. And I think it came out really nice. Don't. Pay attention to the messed up parts because what it is, is that's what happens with my eyes water. It screws everything up. Okay, and my eyes were watering a little bit. So, anyway. But, what I'm going to use this for, okay, is, you know me, is a highlight. And I want y'all to see this magic that I'm going to brush across my cheek using this. Okay. Woo! Look at that. Now, I can blend this out. See, you can blend this out so that it's not so, um, shiny. But, um, get a little more on this side. There we go. Ooh, girl, I just dipped my face in it. Okay. And, um, yeah. Real beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. I need to tone it down, but that is pretty. Okay. And this right here is the um, gold attic. Okay. So, they had another one that I wanted to get. It was... Um, um, I forgot. It started with an H. Hydro 
phonics or something anyway but they were out of that and she brought back she went to the back and she said well let me see if they have some in the back and she brought this color they didn't have any in the back but she brought this color honey i almost snatched it out of her hand honey i had to control myself okay i'm like i'll take it real pretty and it's nice and smooth and buttery Mm hmm and this is what i like now this is what I like about the Baker Revolution highlighters. I like the Bake highlighters, okay? They're easy to blend out. They stay on, okay? And they're pretty. So, yeah. So, uh, you can actually do what I'm doing and tone it down. And I'm not saying this is the only highlighter you can do that with, okay? What I am saying is this is the highlighter that I like, okay, for that reason. Because the ones that I have tried, you put them across your face and you can't... It, 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 it's either it doesn't show uh, highlight enough or it just stays there and I can't spread it out. So it looks like I just got one line, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. I'm liking that. Woo we I'm going my let me give you a close up. Okay, so you can see the seriousness of this situation right here. Mm -hmm. Real pretty, okay. Real pretty. <sighs> so all I could do is sigh. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you see this, but this is coming off a little pinkish. Let me see if you can. Back up a little bit. See, what it is, is even though this is an HD camera, okay, sometimes you can't really see the color, okay, but it looks nice. I can see the pink undertones, okay, but it looks nice. So we're going to put it back in that bin, okay, and we're going to donate it, okay, because there's somebody who has the same color, tone, shade as me, skin color, and has you know, maybe have a pink or red undertone, it'll work better for them, okay? And it's not bad at all once it settles, okay? But at, you, when it went on there first, it was, uh, yeah, it had me worried, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with the finished look, okay? Hair and everything, and I'm going to show you how it looks when it's put together because it makes a difference, okay? When you put on fix your hair or put on your wig and put on your lipstick and stuff like that, the makeup looks can look a lot different than when you just when I first put it on, okay? I'll be back. Oh, hi. Hi there. Um, I'm back. I'm back with the finished look. And I was looking for some lipsticks uh, to put on. And what I have, what it is, is that I have these color pops. And they're pretty colors, okay. But they're really matte. And this Neutrogena Moisture, Moisture Smooth Color Stick, okay. And this is uh, nice. Gets your lips nice and smooth. So I was wondering, okay, which one I would put it on. Well, I know it goes good on top of this. I already tried that yesterday. But um, I also wanted to try this. This is Tipsy. And this is a... This is a glossy lipstick. But the thing about it is... Woo um, mm-hmm. We gonna have to tone that down. Um, <laughs> we don't need no more of that. Okay, so see how it's streaky. Blend it together so it's not so streaky. Okay. How do you like my hair? This is one of my oldies but goodies. Uh, 20 inch hair. Let's see if you can see. Okay. And, oh, sheesh. Ooh. Um, anyway. I'm telling you. Okay. I, I, this stuff is not planned. It just happened. 
happens, okay? But anyway, I'm just going to go in. I wonder should I use a liner with this? Um, let's go in with a liner, okay? We're going to play it safe because a liner, you can never go wrong with a liner. And this is a brownish color, okay? Uh, Chinese I got from Wish. I think uh, you get uh, 12 for $1. These are really good lip liners, okay? You can also use them as a lipstick. They're real nice and smooth. That's not bad. Turn tone that down. And then we're gonna go in on top with this. Oh yeah. Okay. So it came out nice. I finished it off with the All Nighter by Urban Decay. And I'm going to get ready for work and I'm going to come back at you, okay, when I get off work and see how this held up. See if I had to blot in, in the meantime and in between time. Usually I don't, but we don't know, okay. This is, um, I don't even know, if, I think they still sell Color Stay, Revlon, still, uh, uh, still sells that brand. I think it's one of their uh, oldie but goodie brands, okay. I'm not sure. But um, I'm glowing out of this world with, uh, with this uh, highlighter, okay? And I am loving it. So, yeah. So I'll see you when I get back, okay? Oh, wait. Give you the full effect. Hey! Okay. See you tonight. Oh, hello? <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay, I'm back from work and I'm ready to do the uh, finish up on the wear test on this um, Revlon Nearly Naked in Nutmeg. Okay, let me. Ooh, hate when I. I think that's a hangnail. Anyway, now I blotted twice. I blotted one time at six o'clock and I blotted another time at um. I believe it was 8.30, okay, that I blotted, you know. Uh, nothing really big, but still I blotted, okay, because uh, I was looking greasy there. Sorry, I had to get that hangnail. And um, we're just going to go in on a close-up, okay, so you can see what my face is looking like. And I can see what it's looking like. Um, yeah. So, um... I see my oils coming back through, okay? However, um, to me, personally, this makeup looks me, makes me look, you know, just worn, just worn, okay? I'm worn from the day of work, but I'm just, it just, I just look worn, I guess. But anyway, other than that, I really don't have any, uh, complaints on this makeup, okay? Um... It's just like your regular cheap drugstore foundation. And the foundation that they have out now is a lot better than these brands that were out. So the next time I come at you with a foundation Friday, it will be on something more recent than these. But since I had them on hand, um, I thought I would just give it a try just to make sure, okay? So it's going back in the donation box, okay? And we're gonna be done with the Revlon Color Stay. Okay, is that what it is? Oh, nearly naked. Nearly naked. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me draw you in. And um, see that? Just looks worn. Just worn. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that my highlight held up, okay? My um, eyeshadow held up, you know, okay? And uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that highlight, okay, is popping. Woo, chow. 
Okay. But, um, yeah, so that was the wear test on the uh, Revlon uh, Nearly Naked Foundation in color, uh, in color nut bag, okay, like I already said. But anyway, if you like this uh, Foundation Friday, give it a thumbs up because uh, I'll be coming back with some more, okay, for you. If you don't like it, don't worry about it, okay? You can leave your comments down below. Any questions you may have, you can also leave those down below as well. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. But most of all, stay blessed. Bye.